Yo, how's it going guys? So there seems to be an issue, at least I think there is, uh, with uh, Z690 motherboards, at least. Maybe it's on the 790s, not sure. Uh, but with uh, recent BIOS, up BIOS updates that came out, obviously to support the new Intel chips, like the i9 1300KF uh, or K uh, processor. I got the KF model because of my motherboard, uh, Z690 MSI Unified, does not have onboard graphics. So anyways, I updated my BIOS. I had a RAID O set up with uh, two... Western Digital SN850X is in RAID, and ever since I installed the processor, which was after a recent BIOS update, I couldn't get into Windows. It would always blue screen. It would tell me that uh, Windows basically has an unbootable device. I'll get a blue screen, and I couldn't figure out the issue. And so I want to show you what you have to do to fix the issue, because what I had to do is I had to reinstall my OS on a single SSD because I could no longer boot RAID, even if I had to reinstall the OS. I had to reinstall every one of my games. It took me forever. It took me about 36 hours to troubleshoot and both reinstall everything, all the games and stuff. And so I'm gonna show you the BIOS options that you have to adjust to fix this issue. So stay uh, for one moment and let me get into the BIOS. Okay, so I'm in the BIOS on my MSI uh, Meg Z690 Unified motherboard. And then the BIOS uh, update uh, file was this one that just came out recently, and it's a build date of 10-11-22. And that seems to be the issue with uh, causing uh, this uh, adjustment to the RAID setups that caused me not to be able to boot. So to fix this, and I hope this helps other people, because I did spoke with somebody in my comments, and he had a Z690 Asus motherboard, and he recently updated his BIOS, and also upgraded to the 13-gen processor, and... Uh, he basically had the same issue. So I'm going to go ahead and make this video. This may help other people. Okay, so you're going to go to uh, the settings. And then you're going to go to advanced. And then you go to, go to inter integrated peripherals. And then you're going to go to the RAID uh, configuration. See this Intel VMD? That seems to be the issue that's causing uh, issues with uh, RAID setup. So you're going to hit enter there. And then this is where you have to adjust this VMD global mapping. Uh, first of all, what I did was uh, I disabled that, and then on these on these uh, drives here, you got to adjust these, uh, and then later I guess you can enable them once you get RAID uh, properly set up. So I was adjusting these. Apparently, each one of these uh, is reading one of your drives, and it doesn't really tell you which drive it is. It just tells you uh, a few little codes, but it doesn't tell you what drive it is. So you have to adjust these a few times until you get actually be able to boot up uh, your RAID setup and then everything should be fine. And then you could uh, just enable them after you uh, get everything uh, working properly. But I just wanted to talk about that. So that's one thing you wanted to do to uh, be able to boot into uh, Windows 11 and install your OS and you know not have to reinstall your OS like I did in all my games, which took me forever to do, by the way. You know, like Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and uh, Doom Eternal and you know all those bigger games like uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 and you know what have you. So it took me forever and it was just a real real pain in the butt. And so I just want to talk about uh, this and uh, that's how you fix it. So if you're on a Z690 motherboard and you're afraid of even going through this, just don't even up to your BIOS. Realistically, if you want to avoid the issue altogether, but if you do up to your BIOS and you can't boot into Windows, you get a blue screen unbootable device and then you try to reinstall the OS on RAID same issue it won't boot up it would just show that Windows uh, logo screen and it spins and then the computer just basically freezes basically so if you want to fix that issue just adjust the VMD settings and disable this in uh, VMD global mapping so just thought that uh, I wanted to tell you that if that uh, hopefully it helps other people and then I don't know if this is necessary but I disabled these other RAID setups because I was running RAID 0 I don't know if that's necessary or not but uh, that's what I did, so this is all the other options that uh, I didn't really have to adjust, I don't think, but uh, that's what I currently have, and then that fixes the issue, so I hope that helps other people, and uh, so yeah, that's the thing, like I've upgraded my processor so many times, and for some reason, when I went to 13 gen, I had this issue, and I couldn't believe it, because I've never had an issue where I installed a new processor, and I had to reinstall the OS, so it was a pain, but, and you know, this is a newly built setup with uh, Asus Root, Asus Strix RTX 4090 and, you know, uh, 13 gen processor and, you know, high-end parts and uh, Corsair Obsidian 1000, Obsidian 1000D. It was basically like a super rig, basically. That's what I want to basically classify it as this because I'm, you know, running all the greatest stuff except I'm not running custom cooling. I am running a 420 millimeter radiator with a Corsair H170IE light LCD, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, so... 
I just thought that would help other people. So if that uh, helps you out, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments or give a thumbs up and uh, take things from there. So I hope that helps other people. And uh, just be wary of these BIOS updates. So if you see one for October on a Z690 motherboard, just be wary that this may pop up. So just thought I'd do that to help other people. So thanks for watching. Peace out. The next video I'll be doing is uh, Flight Simulator 2020 on my Asus Strix RTX 4090. And uh, stay tuned for that video. So peace out and hope this helps other people. See you guys around.